Marvel's Hydra has a saying. If they cut off one head, two more shall take its place. That's never been more true when referring to the cheating situation in Destiny 2. Perfect Aim and Ring 1 were the two main cheats for Destiny. Perfect Aim fell due to a cease and desist order, but when they fell, another one popped up. Gator cheats then started showing up and was too issued a cease and desist order. They, however, went against it and continued to sell and support Destiny 2 cheats, eventually leading to a lawsuit being issued in a dual attack by both Bungie and Riot Games. By the way, here's a screenshot that was sent to me from the Gator Cheats uh, mailing list. Somebody sent this over to me in Discord today. Uh, I looked at the website that they link in there and the information seems viable, so I'm putting that in the video. Even after Gator Cheats was sued by Bungie, they put out this email saying, as you may be aware, Bungie and Riot Games have recently sued Gator Cheats and unfortunately we will no longer be able to distribute cheats. However, do not worry, we will still be able to help you with all your cheating needs under our new alias. They then ask them to join their Destiny 2 customer group chat. They link it there. Uh, the link doesn't work at the moment. The group chat was pinned a message containing how to get their products, detailed features, video coupons, etc. He says that their work has been undetected for a very long time and likely always will be. Kind of funny because you're being sued. If you have any questions, let them know in the group chat. They also show some of the uh, some of the features that are involved with it. But I think it's time for us to be realistic. Nothing is going to change. Since the switch from Battle.net over to Steam, Destiny 2 has seen an insane increase in god tier gamers using cheats from numerous different cheating distributors, with little being done about it. Sure, there have been the cease and desist orders, and there's now the lawsuit, but without a better anti-cheat that can actually detect the software, we're going to be stuck in this continuous downward spiral. Notice how open Riot was in the lawsuit that was issued about their anti-cheat and how it works. In the lawsuit, it says, Riot uses a custom game security software called Vanguard. Vanguard is installed on a player's computer system when the Valorant game is installed. Vanguard is designed to detect and effectively detects when players are using software that allows them to cheat in the game and Vanguard prevents unauthorized access to Valorant by those players. Bungie went on to say that they employ similar anti-cheat software with Destiny 2 and that it is not possible to play the game without installing their anti-cheat technology. I personally know for a fact that I never installed anti-cheat tech for Destiny. I have never had to do that, and I, I'm pretty sure none of you had to do it either. With every cheat provider that is called out and every single one that is issued a cease and desist, another product in the market is going to spring up and try to make the money that has been left on the table. And here we are again today. As has been done numerous times, another pathetic excuse for a gamer decided to take his cheats from another provider and stream live on Twitch with everything exposed. This cheater, however, was quite possibly the worst I've seen. Sure, he's using aimbot and has walls, but he was just terrible. He was losing numerous games and backing out of games when matching other content creators. When doing private matches with viewers during his live stream, he lost numerous 1v1s to members of the community. To top it off, in the time I watched, he was banned numerous times, but since the game is free to play, he was just able to create account after account and continue on with what he was doing. Personally, I feel the game should not be free to play. Every game that has ever gone free to play has had this issue. It's a terrible business model for a game like Destiny as it leaves it open to cheaters because there are no repercussions to them, especially since they can just make another account and keep going. The anti-cheat obviously isn't working, nor is the two-factor authentication that was implemented in the game. This isn't going to stop, and unfortunately, this is what the future of Destiny 2 PvP looks like. Let me know in the comments section what your thoughts are. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.